Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name is Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to go through the process of sand casting a solid bronze T Rex tooth. This is a resin copy of the largest Tyrannosaurus tooth ever found. It's an awesome looking tooth and a great example of just how large this truly fearsome animal was. I think this resin copy is great, but I wanted to make one in bronze. The first step in using this tooth to make a bronze copy was to figure out where the parting line will be. The parting line is the dividing line between the two parts of a mold. I used a machinist square to lightly scratch a line into the resin tooth and then traced it with a washable paint marker. Now that I had an idea of where the parting line will be, it was time to make a sand mold. For this mold, I used an oil bonded sand called Petrobond. The first step in creating a mold using this particular pattern was to create what's called a false cope. The top part of the mold box is called the cope and the bottom part is called the drag. I packed the cope with sand and placed the tooth on top. Then I traced around it and tried to remove sand equal to about half the thickness of the tooth. Next, I placed the tooth into the cavity and then packed sand down around the edges. Then I dug around the edges of the tooth until I exposed the parting line. Baby powder was used as a parting compound, which will prevent the two parts of the mold from sticking together. Next, I placed the drag onto the cope and tightly packed it with sand. I placed a cover over the bottom of the drag, flipped the mold over, and then removed the cope and the sand in it. Then I placed the cope back onto the drag, filled it with sand again, and tightly packed it down. To remove the tooth, I simply flip the mold over and let it fall out. Next, I cut a hole into the mold to pour the metal into, called a sprue. A channel for the metal to flow through, called a runner. And vents to allow smoke and hot gases to escape through as the mold is filled with metal. After the mold was done, it was time to melt some metal. I estimated that the bronze tooth alone would weigh 8 to 9 pounds. So I decided to melt 13 pounds of bronze to make sure that I had more than enough to fill the mold. The crucible in my furnace was already hot from another casting, so I had to leave it in the furnace while I filled it with copper. The bronze I used was made up of 95% copper and 5% tin. 
First I melted the copper, which took about 40 minutes in my homemade furnace. And then I added in the tin. Copper has a melting point of 1984 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 1085 degrees Celsius. Tin has a melting point of 450 degrees Fahrenheit, or 230 degrees Celsius. So when I held the tin cup over the crucible of molten copper, it almost instantly melted and fell into the crucible. I made sure that the temperature of the bronze was about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1100 degrees Celsius, and then poured the metal into the mold. Now you can see why I made sure to melt more than enough metal. I let the mold cool down for a while and then opened it up to see how the casting turned out. I was happy to see that the casting turned out great. Next I went to work cutting and filing off the excess metal. Fortunately this casting didn't require a whole lot of finish work. After I was done filing off the excess metal, I used a wire brush to shine up the casting. I wanted the tooth to be light in some areas and dark in others. So I used a liver of sulfur to create a very dark patina. It's always like magic watching the liver of sulfur almost immediately darken the nice shiny bronze. Next I used some steel wool to polish only certain areas which gave the tooth a nice contrasting finish. The final step was to coat the tooth with a protective finish and it was done. I 
I love the way this Tyrannosaurus tooth turned out. It ended up weighing 8 pounds and certainly feels like it when you hold it. I think I'll make a stand for it in a future video. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, tell me what you think in the comments, and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.